God said to Moses, Say this to the sons of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Some years ago, when I was getting ready to ordain a priest, we asked to get words that would be our motto for the priesthood. Uh, these words, I am, has sent me to you, were going to be my words. For some months, I contemplated on these words that I wanted to be my signature tune as a priest. Somehow, I settled on some other words. Lo, I put my trust in thee, never, Lord, abandon me. But in these words, I am, has sent me to you. We hear for the first time God giving us his name. I am. You see, he doesn't call himself I was. That would be a God of the past. He doesn't call himself I will be. That would make him a God of the future, the unknown. But he's the I am God. He's the God of today. He's an active God. A working God. And these words, I am, also stand for stability. He's always there. He's always there. I am. They stand for the fact that we can bank on this God. He's always faithful. So Moses asks, and these were the words given to him. I am has sent me to you. Maybe you also need this I am God this morning, this day this week. Let yourself be encouraged that God is still present. He's still active. He's still I am. You see, in the course of the reading, we came to the words when he told the people, he said, God was speaking to Israelites, that look, I have been sent, I have observed you and what has been done to you in Egypt. For many years, the Israelites thought God had not been looking at them. But today we hear God saying, I have observed you. So you listening to me, we here in the house of God, today he's telling you, I have observed you and what you are going through in Egypt. We pray that whatever is happening to us in our own Egypt today, God should continue to keep his eyes on us. He's observing you. You are not alone. You have somebody paying for your security. May this I am God, who always observes us every day, keep his eyes fixed on us and make life a blessing unto us. Amen.